Hello all, welcome back to the channel. This is me, Farmer Envoy Extreme, and this time I am bringing you episode 12 of my Sussex Farm Let's Space series. If this is you're looking for, then please stay tuned. Folks, welcome back. And as you can see, the money has gone up a little bit, and that's because we have sold fields 22 and 23. We sold this area here, and we sold field 21. And we've just sold our um, corn and sunflower, I think it was. And let's see how much we made from the harvest so far 222 G's. Yeah, about half of it was from this episode already. I think 68k came from the sunflowers and about 40k or so, I think it was, from the corn. So, yeah, about 108,000. So, yeah, just under half. And I do apologize if I sound a bit groggy today. Just, yeah, fruits, um, yeah, playing up again. It's just that thing I need because last weekend I felt crappy as well. Earlier on this week, on around Thursday and Friday, I got food poisoning from a dodgy takeaway. And now, as of the time of recording, it's Saturday night, well, technically it's Sunday now, so very early hours of Sunday morning. So, yeah, this last week or so it hasn't been great, and that's partially the reason of me not uploading it as often. It's just that I am working a lot lately, so I do apologize for that, but. Some good news, which I'm looking forward to, is actually I get my PC um, fine complete this week. Um, yeah, obviously I'll be debating on like, what um, process to go through with, what CPU. At the end of it all, after taking some advice, I decided to stick with the um, Ryzen 9 series um, through 600X. 
a very good um, CPU, more than what I need at this time, but you can just never never have too much. And in terms of the graphics card, it's a bit of a, it's not a downgrade, but it's, it's a bit underwhelming for a, a 3000 series um, Ryzen 9, but a RTX 2060, that's the only reason I'm going with that is because at the moment, with the prices of PC parts and everything, Magic Game has on a 2060 for £350 in the end. Yes, it's a bit above the price, what it should be, but I'd rather pay 350 for a good, decent graphics card compared to paying like £1,500, a grand at the very least for a 30 series card. But yeah, that's enough PC talk over folks, I'm not going to bore you all with that, so what we're going to do now is I've moved the combine up here to field 41. I'm going to move the Jaguar down to field 25, ready, to collect some um, chaff, because I didn't realise we couldn't collect chaff from Sunflower, that's my fault, <laughs> so I'm going to get, um, which one, not this one, uh, where's the John Deere tool? Yeah, we've got our John Deere over there with the tool height control, I'm going to get started on this field, and I'm going to get a worker start in doing fields five and six because we are ready to harvest folks and actually you know what I'm going to start this little bit here I did accidentally go over a bit in the last episode so let's quickly get this little bit here done and I think what I'll do is I shall, I'll, get, I'll get the headland area up here done because this area is yeah it's just an absolute nightmare for work it is for some reason don't ask me why, well, actually I know why, it's just the terrain, the angles and everything else to it, so. Oh yeah, dang it, oh, I need a truck to move all this out of the way, so. Bear with me a sec, folks, and let's get this cleared off, shall we? Alright, folks, welcome back, and uh, let's see, some time has passed a little bit. Uh, what I've been doing is maybe I've been taking care of the animals so they're all watered. Obviously, they're not all fed up yet because um, our cows need some TMR. I think they got enough till tomorrow, so I'll leave that as it is for now. It's not going to really affect the production as such, I don't think. I could be wrong, but sheep got plenty of grass to get along with, so. And as you can see here, I've leased. Two new hex nine combines as we're going to do this really difficult dip here. Let's try not to. But yeah, the reason why I have these two of these is because I get these cracking on on field 41. Our um, combine with the tool height control mod, I'll leave it as it is on the site for now because I need to get a lot cracking on. Obviously, fields five and six need um, harvesting. I'll set up a worker for that. This field here, this massive grass field. Oh, that's tipping. Oh. I'll try to rescue that quickly, folks. But yeah, this field needs um, mowing. Please, can we get back off, please? Yes. I see, let's just do a little wiggle like that. But yeah, this field needs some mowing, but also I completely forgot we need the bells to be picked up for the TMR production. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the workers starting on the mowing, the harvesting, etc. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to collect the bales and I'll continue on the harvesting. So let's get this back on safely, please. So yeah, what I might do in a sec is do a big old time lapse. I'll just get everything done. Hopefully, come the end of the episode, all the harvesting's done. Probably not the forest harvesting because it's still not quite ready. I don't think it's going to be ready till the morning. Okay, yeah, we can go across here. I'll just be careful. Any cars on coming? Nope. Oh, no, come on. Go, 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 go. Uh, don't hit us, please, AI. I know how much you love to just ram me to oblivion, but. Oh, got to be careful of these trees. This is so. Doing one of these, I'm like, I'm carrying one of these is stressful enough. Let alone two, because you've got to think about where's that back one position, because they're slightly 
off even as you can see here. Try to get them as over the central axle as possible, but just the size of these is, yeah, it's not easy. The only trailer I would fit this perfectly fine is the 25 meter trailer, but the 25 meter trailer is not suitable for this map. And, oh bugger, um, we've got to go down here, haven't we? Yeah, we've got to go down here, just brush the hedges a little bit. Thankfully, hedge road collisions are hard turned off because if you ever left on all the time, I think ooh, we have had a couple of crash in this episode. Oh, don't turn too sharply, envoy. And don't crash as well. Oh, this is just so stressful, this is. So, but here we are in one piece. So, what I'm. Oh, no. I say that that was coming off. Okay, quick get there. Get there, please. Do, do not fall off here. Do not fall off. Uh, oh, <laughs> some moving there, folks. So, yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get all this offloaded. And we're going to start um, harvesting, folks. So, I'll see you all in just a few minutes.
Alright folks, welcome back. As you see, some time has passed. What we've been doing here is just topping up the greenhouses and just doing some animal care, just topping up the water troughs and yes, pretty much everything that needs to be done has been completed. So we're going to sell, not this field, I'm going to sell field 41 because we've done it. And we're going to buy field 24 because it's got soybeans in it and... Obviously you can make some extra cash to fund this massive um, £2 million farm that I've been planning on doing, but anyways, what we're going to do now is, <coughs> my apologies, is have a look at this. I've placed this spread here ready, so in the next episode we can get this field fertilised because it's not fertilised at all, and it's still in the roots growth seed, so it'll be ready by the end of next episode hopefully depending on how things go but anyway so what we're going to do is we're going to sell the sunflower also we're going to collect some soybeans from the main farm and we're going to go on and sell that as well oh no not this way it's the other way we've got to go but yeah i think all in all i think at the moment with um soybeans we're going to make about 35 grand i think and with sunflowers we may make about 60 grand 65 grand so all in all we're going to make about 100 g's i think but obviously first of all we're just going to sell it and just see how much we actually get it's all good estimating based on rough prices in the marketing but yeah as well with all the hay and uh, not hay, yeah hay and grass we've been collecting and bathing We've just got under a million litres off both, so I think it's 500,000 litres of hay and 400,000 litres of grass, I think, or something like that. Obviously, in the next episode, we're going to collect some silage to buy the grass in this field to our left. So, we're going to make plenty of team work for the cows, but I think for now, actually, what we need to do is just buy some TMR. I would perhaps we'll do that at the end of this episode. But yeah, just seeing it, we've got 21,000 litres of soybeans. I thought we had actually more um, sunflowers in the silo, but no we don't. Well, yeah, technically we've got 19 litres from the other main silo that you start off with on this map, but... I'm not going to worry too much about that, but anyway, it's going to find the soybeans. So yeah, obviously 500,000 litres of hay. Uh, 445 litres of grass, but anyways, let's go find the soybeans. There you are, I'm going to get you loaded up. And yeah, let's just have a look. There's also that end dump tray that's got about 45,000 litres of wheat. I think it's yeah, wheat or barley, I think we've got, and I think it's wheat from that top field. But also, what we'll be doing is we've got some chicken pallets. Not pellets, pallets, or egg crate pallets, whatever. Because we're going to get some chickens. Yeah, I thought chickens will make some money from sent eggs, so we're going to buy. That's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So yeah, I think it's about 100 chickens, perhaps. Yeah, about a hundred chickens. Actually, you know what? Let's actually continue. Let's get two hundred chickens because I don't think they actually reproduce that quickly. I don't think. Could be wrong, but yeah, two hundred chickens. That's going to produce us a lot of eggs, and we've got 10, 2400 liter pallets. So what's going to do? That's going to nest us twenty four thousand liters of eggs, and eggs do actually sell quite a bit. I think. I think was it about five thousand liters per thousand liters or five thousand pounds sorry per thousand liters so we're laying ourselves ready uh, just to make a lot of money from eggs but anyways we're gonna get this trader and we're gonna get some wheat and we're gonna feed our chickens I'm not sure how much wheat they need but I think we've got about forty five thousand years so I think members are to be right, actually they don't take that much feeding actually I don't think. 
So we're just going to back this up. I think that's, yeah, it looks like wheat. We can actually get this position right. So let's get you hooked up like so. And yes, we've got 45,000 litres of wheat. So we're going to take this up here and feed our chickens. And yes, yeah, it's wheat they need. I thought it was wheat. Just double the chicken short sure there. But anyway, so we're going to head on up and we'll get our chickens fed. And yeah, I think pretty much that we can pretty much end the episode here in a couple of minutes, I think. Or at least we're approaching the end of it because. What we're going to do next episode is get fields one ploughed because obviously, yeah, I've neglected that field and we've lost a potentially a lot of money from that. Yeah, just because too much to do on the farm has of late, so. But yeah, we get all the fields that need ploughing, so fields five and six, which is one field, and field one that needs ploughing. And I might do canola, I think, but it has to try to back this up and it's only just, we can just about get it in. And yeah, actually, yeah, what's that, 12,000 litres or so? Yeah, just over 10,000 litres of half wheat, so. Actually, not a lot. So, what I'm going to do is store this here for now. And remember, folks, that's enough feed for 10 days, so. <coughs> My apologies there. And what I'm going to do is we're going to go and collect this, and we're going to sell the sunflower. As well as the soybeans, um, sunflower is the best way to sell at the moment is the Jack and Jill Mill sell point. Yes, it is. So, uh, with soybeans, the best place to sell the soybeans at the moment is uh, okay. Well, uh, the gar not the garden center. Um, let's have a look, shall we? Yes, yeah, actually, it's the garden center. I didn't misread that. A sec, folks, so I do apologise for that. But yeah, what we're going to do now, let's go into Jack and Jill Mill sell point and let's go sell the sunflowers, folks, shall we? Let's see how much money we can make. Here we are at sell point now, and we got just over 43,000 litres of sunflowers. That should net us about 65 Gs, I think, if my math is roughly correct. See how much we can get at this, and it is sixty-one thousand pounds. So math just a little bit off there, but not that far off. So now we're gonna head to the marina, and we're gonna sell our soybeans. Oh yeah, the marina. Yes, yeah. I didn't really actually saw that sell point before, I, but. Yeah, a little flashy blue thing. Obviously, that at the moment potatoes are in great demand. Obviously, we're not doing potatoes. We are selling soybeans. So, obviously, yes, we could do potatoes at some point, but they take an age to harvest. So, unless I can find a trick to harvest them like faster, I know you can do the speed cotton farming, which I saw on from Mr. CP's video. On Eureka Farms, but anyway, so um, where's the trigger to? Oh, so you just press L3 on the PlayStation controller, and that does it for you. So, what actually, we're gonna do first of all is weigh the trader with the soybeans. Let's see how much this weighs in total here, folks. No, not there. 33,190 kilograms, I think the units is so. Anyways, we're going to sell the soybeans now, and yeah, this should net us about 34 Gs, 35 Gs, hopefully. Yeah, 34 Gs, so what we're going to do now, since we're already down here, we're going to buy some TMR. Yeah, 220,000 litres, and yeah, I think that should last us a couple of days. That's going to be enough time to get our. I uh, believe hate that fog, fog or I know you can turn it off, but. Anyway, so let's go and collect some TMR, and yeah, I think they should last us about five days, I think, 220,000 years. Try to think, yeah, I should know about four days actually, folks, for my apologies there. But here we are, folks, what's that thing? Now, that's going to cost us about 18 grand. And I was just looking in the marina, and there's a shark, so 
Let's go say hello, shall we? I think it's a friendly shark. It's not a vicious man eating shark because all sharks are friendly. Sharks are kind, very intelligent, and they don't attack unless you provoke them. But man, this shark is very peaceful because we're literally on its rear end and it's absolutely very peaceful. It's not attacking us, so yeah, £9,239, so yeah, 18480 pounds that's cost us. I know shark's gone diving. Oh, what a shame. But anyways now we're gonna select no not you, not you, where you two. There you are, we're gonna hop in there and we're gonna feed our cows. But I think I should do that at the start of the next episode and that effing foghorn folks. Actually you know what? I think I actually might turn that off. But yeah, anyways, what our plan is now, obviously, is to get that mega farm built. I think a lot of it is just get all this harvested, what needs to be done, like this field over here, field 24. Get some extra cash from soybeans, collect some silage from, no, sorry, chaff. My apologies, from field 25. And I think that's all the fields that we can actually um, have at the moment, I think. Any other field student soybeans? Oh no, field two student soybeans. Hold off, hold your horses, folks. We're going to buy field two here. Get some extra cash here, and is it for life? No, it isn't. So, actually, what we're going to do? We're going to buy fields two. But I was going to double check because it didn't really show up on the map. So, where are you, Steve Buggy two? There you are. So, yeah, looks like it's actually growing. So. Don't know why the PD didn't show us that, but just for clarification, yes, it is growing. It has to he launches itself there. Let's turn field info on, folks. And yes, it is growing. So we're going to buy this field and we're going to get this fertilized at our next episode, and hopefully harvest that field to make some money. But Anyways folks, we've come to the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please leave a like. Feel free to comment down below. And if you want to share it with them, please be my guest. And if you're not subscribed to the Farmer and Forex Street channel yet, then please do. As we are really aiming for 2,500 subscribers. I can only do that with your support. And remember to click on that bell icon. So you get notified whenever I go live or whenever I upload videos. Because YouTube doesn't always tell my subscribers.